Democrat version of what the Republicans are doing. Republicans, they're going like full on meme, they're trolling. The Democrats, they're going full on wholesome. So they're like, it's him walking with his wife and then there's like a song being like, who's my boo? Who's my boo? Or something like that. And then everyone in the comments is like, my favorite couple. They're using water against fire, which is interesting. Hey. All right. Hey, everybody. Hey. Welcome to a new episode of the Good Night Podcast. Hi. Guys, remember, Saturday, March 23rd. That's it, guys. That's it. We, the tickets are selling. Yeah, you got to come. It's going to be a nice show. Ottawa, Ottawa, come Saturday, March 23rd, 10 p.m. Ooh, I'm uh, so excited. I can't hide it. And I just want to lose control, but I think I found <laughs> it. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't remember the lyrics, but I'm excited. I'm drinking coffee. Ooh. Life is good, baby. Ooh. How are you, Gabriel? Ooh. You had a, you had a, you had a, you had an intense week. I had a very interesting week. I did, a, I did, I had, I went through many different emotions. I was quite sad, and then I did something that had was scheduled for that weekend that was supposed to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> then I was like, <laughs> so it was weird. So <laughs> does that make sense? You yes. Want, okay. Hundred okay. percent. I know what it is. <laughs> T- tell, tell our dear members. Yeah. What so, you, what you lived. So this, uh, this. This week, last last week, my grandfather died. He passed away. Yeah, it's very sad. My uh, condolences, man. Yeah, no, no. Uh, yeah, it's very, um, very sad. Also, I, I didn't really know him that well. Which that's was, dad w- or dad? Yeah, my, mom? D- my dad's dad. That's yeah, dad. Yeah, I didn't know him that well. And I think it's because, like, I don't know, like, I have no th- connection through my dad. So because of that, I don't have no connection to my grandfather. Yeah. Even though they live really close to. Really? They live like, you know, I used to live in NDG, right? On the street called Melrose. They Maybe I shouldn't say, but, like, they live on that same <laughs> dead now <laughs> no one's gonna yeah yeah yeah. I it's did. true yeah. Yeah, yeah but like there's people that still live in that building yeah, yeah but they live uh, like on the, they lived like two minutes from me and i had no idea when i was living in ndg wow. when's the last time you saw him uh j- just before covid oh wow yeah it was like five years ago i think okay yeah around you, that so you didn't have like any like hey grandpa i love you man old man wisdom no 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 i had uh, i even yeah. even when I w- was my when my dad was around and stuff, we never really saw him. I don't wow. think they got along very okay. well. Like from what I remember, your, da- your grandpa was homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad. Because your dad's a <laughs> member of the LGBTQ. <laughs> we love the LGBTQ, everybody. <laughs> but I, I remember like him and his dad like wouldn't get along. I think he didn't like. You know, he was like a strict dude. He was very old fashioned, yeah. right? He wanted, he thought he was like part of like the, arist- the aristocracy, ar- aristocracy. What, how do you say that? Aristocracy. Aristocracy, sort of in his head. I feel like he he thought like yeah. So he didn't really like my him, uh, my dad and my mom that were together. Wow. Yeah. So it was all this tension. Damn, from these crazy I, stories from the yeah. past. What you are dating outside your race? Yeah. <laughs> you are out of this family. It's insane. <laughs> I, that was so popular. Like that was so common when we were young. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And now it's what. She's a human. We're so happy. Yeah, <laughs> we're happy you're not. My parents say to yeah, me, that's, that's all. They're like, so open. They're like, yeah. could be anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah I did it a Jew. That's like as close yeah. as they would get to. Like, oh, we don't know how we feel about this. <laughs> so um, <laughs> this is quite interesting. Also, so he uh, apparently divorced my grandma. Okay. Back, I don't know when, long time ago, he met this woman. I'm not sure where exactly. I think somewhere in Italy. Mm. Maybe I think he was traveling for Ooh. either business or leisure. I don't know. Or you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a spy. Yeah, you he's know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, your dad. You know, we heard your dad stories. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mafia. Yeah. No, no, no. He was, uh, I think he was, I don't think he was, uh, no connection to oh, any he, crime, he, nothing. Straight edge? Yeah, he business owner, you know. What did, what business? I, he was in men's suits for a while, and then he was in like, like office supplies for a while. I don't know, but yeah, <laughs> he was a pretty straight and narrow dude. I'm sure, pretty sure. Okay. And so <laughs> S- uh, skeptic eye. You're a very skeptic eye. It's okay. <laughs> hey, I'm in men's suit over here. The smaller the eye, mm. the the more skeptical. <laughs> now you look Chinese. <laughs> hmm. The ultimate skeptic. Ni hao. <laughs> sure. sure. <laughs> So he met this. <laughs> he, uh, let me yes. Him, he, he, yeah. So so he met this hot young lady in Italy. Yeah, that was younger than him, like a lot younger than him. I don't know, no. maybe like thirty years younger than him. Nice. Or something. Yeah. Ow. And uh, yeah, keep talking, keep talking. Here, I'll. Wait, I could. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> and so he left my grandma. I'm not sure if he left my grandma or they divorced. I'm not sure. It was it was just a long. It's like you've been replaced. Yeah, e- pretty much. Gabagoo. You know? Hold on. Yeah. And uh, 
they he had his own, he had another family after that. Like he he had five kids with my grand my nonna. Yeah. He had like uh, my aunt Rebecca, my aunt Layla, my aunt Rebecca. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever. My aunts and uncles. Yeah. You know, there's like five so he had five kids with the first wife. Yeah. And then he had and two. And then he's like, Arrivederci. Arrivederci, Amari here. Yeah. He had two <laughs> others with this uh this nice. She's very nice lady. Very nice. Okay. I met her a few times. She's very nice. Very lovely. Very welcoming. Very awesome. Nice person. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Know. I might have to edit a little bit just just to get this more tighter because I'm really trying to like hold my word. I don't want to say anything. I because yeah, whatever. Because he listens to the podcast. He's like, dead. No, no, no. My the the son. Ah, <laughs> your uncle. Yeah, my uncle. Okay, so which he, uncle? Do I know him? His name is Adam. No, Adam. Okay. Yeah, you don't know him. And so he's a very nice guy. My uncle's a very nice guy. He's younger than me. Very odd situation, isn't it? You know. Okay, so the the son of the second marriage. Yeah, exactly. Whoa, okay. He's younger than me, and he's my uncle, and he's and yeah. So his dad was very very old, obviously. Yeah. And his mom was like a normal age for a thirty two yeah. year old man, right? Like, and so uh, I I go to the funeral on uh, what was it like Friday or something, and I I'm like I don't I don't know anything about my grandfather. Like I don't know anything about this family, and I'm like, oh, they're they're uh, oh, it's a Jewish family. Okay. Yeah, and I had no idea, and I'm like, oh, and I was like, oh, I didn't, know, I had no idea my grandfather converted to oh. Judaism, and I'm like, whatever, that's cool. And we're hanging out, and like, the, um, there's all these traditions and stuff, yeah. and my uncles and aunts, they don't know anything about this too, so they're just like along for the ride, you know? Because his wife was Jewish. Yeah, his wife was Jewish. Whoa! And then get this, I'm listening. The rabbi is talking all this yeah. stuff. He. Uh, says like in the eulogy i guess it's like a eulogy yeah. sort of thing that uh his uh, gabriel's journey all s- gabriel is his grandfather's yeah, name exactly. yeah 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 gabe's journey all started in alexandria and in my head i thought alex i'm like alexandria did he mean alessandria because mm-hmm. there's a city in northern mm-hmm. italy called alessandria but i i know <laughs> My friend, <laughs> my Arabic brother. <laughs> am I am I actually a quarter Egyptian? <laughs> Guys, Gabriel is Arabic. We did it. You can marry my sister now. <laughs> That's crazy. That's it. My sister can divorce, and now you can marry her. We did it, guys. So it was very right. welcome. Like, yeah. So he said it, the eulogy was like he started in Alexandria, then he went over to Greece, and then he went to the Milan. And I was like, oh, so he's. And he's, yeah, it's totally legal. People travel like this from city to city. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Escaping he was... the law. Escaping I the law. I sell men suits. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey, look at these suits. I have suits. So this is not a shock, wow. but a, a, a revelation yeah. that I am uh, actually from can, Alexandria. Can, I have roots in Alexandria. Considering the fact that you're very racist... <laughs> It makes sense. That's karma. <laughs> karma is like, oh, oh, well, now you're African Arab, not just Arab. Whoa. You're from Africa. <laughs> Am I Berber? You're, you're, <laughs> Alexandria is very nice. I've been there. Yeah? Yeah, it's a, it's a portuary city. What's that mean? It's, there's a port. Oh, port. Okay, okay. Portuary city, yeah. Okay. It's very nice. It's like very cosmopolitan. Ah. I would say it's like uh, the, the, the most cosmopolitan city in Egypt. Wow. Yeah, because you're so close to, you know, the... Yeah, nor- like uh, Greece. Greece, and Greece, and Greece uh, yeah. Right, right, it's right across Greece, right? Yeah, Greece yeah. and I think a bit of Turkey too. Wow. It's in, it's in that region. Yeah, so that, you. that's very interesting. Are you gonna, are you are you interested? Because it, it will explain the hair. Yeah, it would really explain yeah, the Yeah, dude, you're so much... Like, that whole region is just, just hair. But... I don't think my grandfather was that. Maybe he was slightly hairy, but I don't think he was that hairy. No. Well, you lose hair as you grow up. No, but like, ch- I guess chest yeah. is true. Yeah, it you lose falls, hair. Everything just oh. falls off. Oh, That's what geez. I'm learning about getting older, dude. Yeah, you losing it's hair. Just, it's just everything dies. Getting skin. You get everything. You're getting <laughs> skin and then you die. Dude, I, I visited my dad. Yeah. And my dad is a storyteller. He lo- He had a like a rambunctious life when he mm-hmm. was young and he loves telling stories. And it's so sad. I sit with him. He's like, yes, yes. Uh, I remember I was with my friend Mahmoud. Rest in peace. And then Aww. we went to this island. And then we met our friend Muhammad. Rest in peace. <laughs> and then we went to that island. And on that island, there was uh, Abdullah. Rest in peace. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I thought like the pain of like the sorrow of getting older comes from like, oh, you get fat, you lose yeah. your hair, you lose your strength and mobility. It's- no. Everyone you love dies, yeah. and you're all alone. Wow, that's, with, with that's your wife it, at least. They hate each other. Like, <laughs> you wish you would die. Like that's. <laughs> <laughs> like, they hate I, each other. I would have preferred to keep Abdullah and Mahmoud because I used to listen to these stories as mm. I was young, and now they just updated them with the 
bless his soul. Rest oh. in peace. Rest in peace. It's so sad. Wow. I'm like, that's it. Yeah. That's what the future holds. Yeah. That, yeah. A lot of death. Fucking yeah. Kids that visit you once a month and all your friends are dead. That's getting old. I'm yeah. Like, God dang. But then you have like a garden and no. then like a little what garden. You, you take, think you can afford a garden? I don't know. Maybe one Never. day. Yeah, probably. No. Maybe in like if I live in maybe the, a plant. If I live in the woods next you can't to, afford next to, to live live in the woods. In the you're, you're already like ah <laughs> oh, comedy. I don't know. I'll just build my YouTube thing. <laughs> if I, you're not, you can't. Af- no. That's it. Well, uh, Whatever you are now, mm-hmm. that's maybe you'll move to another country, but you'll have something similar for a long time. Yeah. Your wife is just starting her career. It's true. It's going to take years. But we'll have like a little like or like, you know, like those jars with like the boats in and you have a little toothpick. No, no, you'll you'll have jars of insects because that's everything you'll be. That's the only thing you'll be able to afford. Yeah. When meat will be prohibited by law and only the rich will be able to eat it. Imagine they kick out everybody. (sighs) Ooh, mm, mom, look, mm, delicious. uh, It's like beetle jam. Beetle jam. Exactly. That's all you'll be able to. Beetle juice. Beetle juice. Oh, Uh. ah, (laughs) they predicted the future. (laughs) Like, mmm, full of protein and 2% plastics. <laughs> this cup of Beetlejuice. Glue, 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 glue. Ah. By the Bill Gates <laughs> Foundation, everybody. Get all your proteins from this Beetlejuice <laughs> cup. Well, then, um, oh. So then we go to we go to the Shiva on. Uh, is Shiva. That, it's Shiva or Shiva? Shiva? Shiva. So we go to the Shiva on Sunday. Yeah. And my uncles and aunts are all there. And we're having little Did bits you? of. No, I didn't. No? Nobody was wearing that. It no, was okay. it was pretty casual. It was outside. No, yeah. No, it was inside. Mm. It was and a, in a synagogue. No, it was at their house. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay, that's not. Yeah, and then they do prayers in, in the evening, and yeah, it was very sad. And I got to, I caught up with my uncles and aunts, and then the young uncle. Did you tell them? Listen, did you give cards? Did you give like, cards? I'm so sorry for the loss of your dad. <laughs> listen to the podcast. I'm so sorry for the loss of your dad. Yeah. The Goodnight Podcast. 6,000 subscribers listen yeah. to the podcast. Uh, did I do? No, I just... Well, sure. Adam listens hey, to the podcast. Every opportunity is... A, because... <laughs> <laughs> Anyone in Ottawa of that family, they could come to the show. No, I mean, England ah! <laughs> or like, uh, <laughs> or, or, or maybe St. Bruno. Oh, God dang it. Anyways, my condolences, man. Yeah. I never had a grandpa, so I don't know the pain that you're feeling. I don't know it either. But, uh, you know, I do have, it's funny. I never, I never actually had my own grandpa. No. I had like that grandpa that I didn't know. Yeah. Then I have my, my grandmother's husband. He, she remarried also yeah. and so that other grandfather stayed in greece mm. he died i didn't know mm. and then this one i don't know either what about your mom's side exactly yeah the mom's side's the same thing oh. yeah, yeah he lives in like he lived he lived in greece and then he died in greece i never yeah. met him really. you never met him maybe when i was a baby and then the, the man that she remarried to he's a nice guy but i don't know him at all he doesn't i think he's like autistic he doesn't speak he's just a nice guy he goes for walks you know mm. he drinks like Juice. Did they have kids? Yeah, my uncle. Yeah, they, I have my uncle Nick. Yeah, yeah. he's like he's like thirty eight or something. That's a good thing about divorces is that you end up with so many uncles and cousins yeah, yeah, and yeah. You just and uh, and wow. yeah, and so I never really had my own grandfather. You know, so no Me either, no. man. That's yeah. uh, what we have in common. Yeah, and uh, absentee father, <laughs> yeah. emotionally unavailable dads, uh-huh. <laughs> and no grandpas. No grandpas. It's, all the grandmas are, are very nice. Yeah, that's true. The women yeah. in our lives have been good to us. Very, very, very nice. Yeah. So yeah. thanks, yeah. thank you, thanks, lady, ladies. Yeah, thanks, guys, ladies. It's so funny. So last week was mm-hmm. it? Was it last week that it was International Women's Day? Yeah, I think so. So uh, I was on Friday. I think was it on Friday? Uh, I don't remember. So anyways, it was that. International Women's Day, and I, I had a, two shows that night. So I'm like, oh, you know what? I'll take the highway instead of taking the r- routes downtown. Mm. Well, I'm in the highway. Bam. Huge traffic. Big car accident. Oh. I'm like, God dang it. So I'm stuck in traffic. I'm driving. I'm like, I'm going to be late to the show. I'm texting the booker. I approach the cars, and I don't want to say. Oh, no. <laughs> Who had the accident? Oh no! But it was their day. Chinese <laughs> that lady. Day. <laughs> it was an international lady. <laughs> and it was her day. <laughs> and it was her day. So I'm like, come on, lady. Yeah. Two accidents. Mm-hmm. Two accidents that day, all involving women. Whoa! Like, come on, it's your day. <laughs> yeah, you should. You should know. You, you, you should, should. You should be you stepping should on eggshells. And I opened the show on that day, but uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm late. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> Someone's it's not my fault. <laughs> it's their day today, so I'm not gonna shit on them. Beep that. Yeah, yeah. Anyways. Ugh. Um 
Yeah. Yeah. So then that night on yeah. Friday after the funeral. Yeah. By the way, oh man, like my my uh, my grandfather was a very simple guy. Like his coffin was like made out of pine. It was it was like you know like the. Um, but it's a Jewish. Uh, he bur- oh, is it? He got buried in a Jewish uh, cemetery. Yes. He yeah. Did. Yeah. yeah he did. It's not extravagant. So and I, I and I had the shovel and I put the the dirt on the on the coffin. You know, some guys had a big shovel. And uh, yeah, but anyway. somebody, some dude made a prayer, did a prayer, right? I think, right? Yeah, 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 some yeah. sort of thing. And then at night, I a uh, long time ago, so I, I like this rapper. His name is Dylan Ponders. He's from Montreal, um, Toronto. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I like this guy. Is he in Montreal? Because he does like really like grimy, gross raps. He's all like, I don't know. I, can, I can't really do the raps because it's all yeah. it's like n word every second of the word. But and it's all like just <laughs> not mad. on camera, anyways. <laughs> yeah, I can't. And uh, I bought a ticket. I Totally forgot I got these yeah. tickets. And I was like, oh, so I dragged Claire to this rap show. I'm like, t- for some reason, I was all excited until like just before entering because I'm like, wait a minute, I'm gonna be the only white guy in there. <laughs> I don't know why I was getting so nervous. I go in, there's no black guys. Dude, there. you're black now. No, but yeah, it's true. Remember, you're black. <laughs> Maybe that's why I thought I was like, yo, what's up, man? What's up? <laughs> I'm black guys, huh? guys, my grandpa is from Egypt. Oh yo, what's God. up, my N words? Oh, yo, yeah, I'm African. Oh, you're African. I don't look African. Yeah, like we can paint you. <laughs> You're African. That's it. So, uh, yeah. so you get there. Where was it, by the way? Huh? Where was it? It was sh- on Mount Royal. No, Mount Royal and Saint Denis. This this venue called Esco. Okay. It's like a kind of a small venue. So this dude. Okay. So this guy is a lot like us. You know, he he put. He's an independent artist. He's putting on his own shows. Yeah. We show up. There's like as many people as like at the Atwater Club show. Yeah. Like maybe 50 people. Yeah. It's his own show. Yeah. He's like happy just to have 50 people, and he's just touring around doing this little show, yeah. this little show. And I'm like, <clears throat> I was curious. Like, is this guy popular? Because I listened. To, I th- I thought I was the only guy listening to him. Yeah. He has like 300,000 follow um, uh, Spotify listens a month. Oh. So he's kind of a popular act. But I was thinking, like, does that like does that translate like when do you start filling up rooms yeah when you have a million listeners on spotify because he's at three hundred thousand, which is quite a yeah. lot you know so but it was i was i want i didn't get to talk to him because uh I, you know you dance he, you, what, you what, didn't get to talk to him no we didn't how get to, small was that show very small it was like imagine you're the rapper start start like rapping in front of me hey yo i am and from t-o <laughs> and yo who's I'm this like, african <laughs> guy in my face i'm like right it's like this right it's a, such a small venue it's Did like you tell him about a podcast i didn't Gabe, you gotta <laughs> where's your pin why aren't you wearing the pin Gabe? i need to it's all about the pins it's all about the pins you could have had a photo with him, like, hey, yeah, give hey. him a mug. I don't, I don't, I didn't. Gabe, dude, I, I have a life. This, I need you to have a life like this and spread the word. I don't have a life. I work. But how do? How am I supposed? I thought it was gonna be like, you know, you know, when you, oops, you drop this and it's a pen. I know, and then but you, you know when pen. you said. Oh, how small is this show? Yeah. I thought it was going to be a big show, too. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like, look, it's the guy is up there. I always have the pin on my oh, yeah. jacket. Always. I have always. My well, jacket. The, dude, you walk around mm-hmm. now with the Montreal scene, you'll see people wearing the pin. Wow. Will Del, Del Vecchio, uh, uh, Andrew Curry, John. Yeah. Like, people just wearing, walking around. Like, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so, so, so the rap show, it was a lot of rap. He, he, he's white or black? He's a black dude. Okay. He's like half And black. everyone was white in the audience. So many white people. It was all white people. All white people. And then I saw, oh, there's a black guy, but he was one of the openers. Mm. <laughs> ah, yes. And so there, it was like, uh, I'm pretty sure like they booked a bunch of like local rappers to open yeah. the show because they were so bad. They yeah. were so, it was like this dude with like, a, like a, it was this white skinny guy. He's this tall. He's maybe ninety pounds. He's wearing a Chicago's Bulls jersey. The big, like almost like a, a '90s wigger, you know. And he's Ooh. like, I do drugs in my basement. Drugs, everybody, drugs in my. And no, but everyone's like, you suck balls. <laughs> and then I felt so bad for him because I'm like, hey, we're fellow performers. I get it. You're having a rough night. And I, and then he, and then I I. Uh, People were still dancing, you know, but you can tell nobody was actually vibing. And then Cla- the guy got off, and I leaned to Claire, and I'm like, "That's that. That's, that's bomb, that, That's the feeling of because bo- you could see in his face, he just wanted to get the f- there. And then so I'm like, you know, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give him props if he walks by him. Yeah. I saw him, I gave him props, and he did the same thing to me. If if I felt like I didn't do good, yeah. and someone was nice to me, he went. <laughs> he did ah. that. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, Universal. And he was like, there, he's just hiding. Like he wanted to speak to Dylan Ponders, but he was like, I oh, suck balls. <laughs> But he was oh, a nice guy. That feeling is like, dude, that's my shot. <laughs> yeah. I'm opening for this cool guy. Yeah. And he goes on stage, everybody put your hands in the air. Put your hands in the air. And I was like, no. Yeah. So this is what you need to command. Yeah. And also, the audience. he was lip syncing. He would do like <gasps> R&B songs. And he it was all lip synced. What? He wasn't actually, you can tell because his voice is, everybody. And then his rap.
rap voice, like his lip singing voice, is like, girl. Was <laughs> everybody lip syncing? No, no, just him. Oh, just him. Oh, that's why. And then uh, there was this other guy after him. He he was amazing. He was like this guy from Jamaica, killing it. He nice. was everybody, dude. He killed it. Like you know when someone kills it so hard, all the energy in the room leaves, and yeah. and they just follow him. Yeah. He got off the stage. Everybody just all the women just went to talk to that guy. Well, is, and, is, and, it's that like let's go talk to that guy. Let's go talk to that guy. And so because of that, Dylan Ponders went on and he was rapping to literally me, Claire, and like five other people. Whoa. And I was like, I'm gonna dance my. Bring the energy. Dude, yeah. And I was like going crazy. And then the guy took off his shirt and he was like ripped as oh. He was like rapping. He looked like old as shit, but he was only 30. I was like shocked. I was like, I thought he was like a 48-year-old man. I think black people don't get old. He looked like... He had a anyway, whatever. I hope he doesn't hear this. I like. I really like his music. It's really good. Like, yeah. it's really fun. He's ripped. He's cool. Okay. Yeah. And, good. Uh, you should invite him. to Message him. Like, hey, we got a couple of tickets for the good night. Uh, tell him to come next Friday to our show. The club at water, but he's from Toronto, uh, and he's on tour and shit. Ah, that would be nice. Like, hey, dude, yeah. come because usually rappers and comedians yeah. they get along. Yeah, because we're both like lyricists. Yeah, kinda. yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we both have set up punchline, huh. set up what punchline, set yeah. up punchline. Anyway, oh, cool. Yeah, I love. It was fun. I love. Uh, I secretly love rap music sometimes. You know. Yeah, and, you're and, African, bro. Of course yeah. you love it. <laughs> you like the rhythm. <laughs> Slowly, Claire's gonna have a big giant ass. You're like. Hey. <laughs> Claire, what are you? Oh. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Guy has been fading, man. <laughs> Foie gras. Just get my... He's getting your jerk chicken. <laughs> Suddenly, like, your pants start slowly. You yeah. untie your shoes or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm also down six pounds. Ooh, good job. Yeah. Well, you have a better posture. I, I noticed when I watch you, because we're the same height. Mm -hmm. But when I look at our feet, I'm like, <laughs> hey, hey, guys. <gasps> yeah. I'm feeling old. No. You know how I realize I'm feeling old? Because I'm like, I need a hobby. I need to do things I like. So I started playing backgammon. You know backgammon? Yeah, that's that's a, such an old game. A, and I love <laughs> I love backgammon. I never I love played it, it but it, Dude, I play against myself. That's is how much it with I love the board and the? It's so like, it's a board, and you have a little uh, little uh, circles, and you move them. And there's triangles on there too. There's right? no triangles. Oh no. So I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so I play alone. I play against myself. How I, do you do that? I'll, is it because it's with dice? But is it like playing? Chess to, with yourself? Yeah, it's similar. Dude, that because playing chess with yourself is hard. Because like, no, how do no. how do I beat myself? Yeah, it's easy. What I like here's what I prefer: a backgammon over chess. Backgammon is has a they both have techniques and whatever. Backgammon, there's an aspect of chance because you have to throw yeah, a dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, that is more realistic in terms yeah. of real life applications. Yes, yes, because yes. they are like, oh, this guy plays 4D chess. That's why he's so good yeah. at manipulating people or whatever yeah, but there's always unvariable there, exactly yeah. there's always uh, variables yeah. uh in real life there's yeah. variable you can't take away. that's what i like about bagman so anyways oh, that's cool so i play i have a board i play against myself i also play i found an app and i play on an app and here's the thing you know me i have a <laughs> i have an odd life cycle like mm -hmm. i sleep during the day at night i'm awake so i always end up playing against players who are no. on the other side of the world that's so weird so are you chatting with them no 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 it's only uh. you only play but the thing is i'm playing i play about middle easterners because they're all like when i'm awake this is like oh this yeah. is my tea time and they're like we're average. playing backgammon and here's the thing i play a lot against israelis oh. and here's the thing and i'm like shouldn't you be fighting a war <laughs> well not all <laughs> like this is how i'm contributing to the peace process I'm playing backgammon against Israeli men. Yeah. <laughs> and then like, I am imagining the guy's like, oh, and there's a bomb going above him. He's like, God dang it. Does he have like a little profile picture with him with like a gun? There's a flag. Yeah. It's out. So it's okay. like my name with a flag of Canada. Okay. And there's like their uh, name, profile mm -hmm. name with a flag of Israel. And I play against so many Israelis because my time cycle is exactly the time uh, cycle of a soldier i uh, guess in gaza yeah, right now i'm funny. like that's that's how i contribute to peace <laughs> i'm like guys don't need to fight let's just play that game so wait how what is the i know you're making i know it's a joke but like what it's is not a joke it's 100 true no 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 but, but like, i got used to you not laughing to anything i say it's okay no but I what accept it. no but what is the uh percentage of israelis in israel compared to the ones in the war because it's i don't know it can't be like 80 percent. it's a man yeah so he's some men are young. If but they're young, they're probably right now doing military service. They're, exactly. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Like, yeah. okay, so is it because they take the the, the young people, and make them do military service, and because of that, they have to go fight a war? Is that your reasoning? 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I didn't know. In my uh, head, I was like, why? It's like, I'm not in the war. Yeah, yeah. Or like, or, yeah, yeah. It's, and, uh, yeah. And I'm not young, I guess. I'm but, assuming yeah. that <laughs> every 25 to 30 year old right now in yeah. Israel is trying to. Maybe they would be playing like Call of Duty because it's more closer because they were always no, like in the no, zone. Why? Well, they're playing real life Call of Duty. Yeah. You they, don't want to play um, artificial Call of Duty. No, but you then, want then you get different. ideas. It's like, you know, you get like cool inspiration. Like if you're getting blowjobs every day. Yeah. Like every day you're getting blowjob from whatever girl you want. You're mm-hmm. not going to watch porn of someone getting blowjobs. Maybe because you're a sex addict at, like, you're at that point. If you're just like, if you're trying to get blowjobs nonstop. No, if, if you get it in real life, I don't think you need it virtually. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're ta, 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 in real life, you're like, oh, I want to decompress. I'm not gonna go decompress and t- t- do the same thing. Yeah, I I'm guess gonna so. decompress, play some backgammon. Backgammon, but I know, feel like what? backgammon is more stressful than Call of Duty. There's more like at stake, you know. Well, it's like ego. I feel like because it's one on one. Yeah, Call of Duty, you die. You're like, eh. But like backgammon, you're like, if you lose, I remember I used to play online pool, which is so stupid. Like I can <laughs> just go. No, yeah. It's like nothing like no, pool. Nothing There's like a, pool. And I would lose. I would be like, you. I'd be so mad, and because it's one on one, I'd be so pissed off. And, yeah. Well, uh, you keep the spirit of competition. Yeah. I'm assuming, mm-hmm. you know, or maybe 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 you're right. Maybe they call Call of Duty like, oh, I should try to, or maybe this way, like, and then yeah, they go yeah, back exactly. And, like, oh man, that worked. Like he calls his sergeant. Oh, we need to use uh, the <laughs> robots because there's like a robot thing you can. I don't know. There's like little robot bomb people, robot dogs. Whoa, really? Well, now now they use like these like like in the game or in real life. In the game, not, I'm pretty sure in real life they probably have like a little like a s- robot that you control and a thing that well, like drones. Has, they use a yeah, lot exactly. of drones. Yeah, drones. So many. Dude, the Ukraine. I don't know if sometimes you fall into like the dark side of YouTube, Mm-mm. and there's channels and they're just uh, Ukrainian soldiers, mm-hmm. and then they just post like wow. and then you see like the footage from a drone. And there's like a bunch of Russian soldiers, and they look, 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 and they're eating. And then you see just the drone. Go, oh, he's gone. And then they just because they attach like a bomb to the, oh. and it's just a bunch of videos yeah. just like this. No, I use a Russian soldier just like oh, just <laughs> relieving himself, <laughs> and he's like, oh, I look, 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 look. and then he's running away. It's hilarious. And, well, it's yeah, yeah. morbidly hilarious. Yeah. I'll say this. Yeah. Oh damn, you didn't know? <laughs> yeah, you said. I mean, I'm a, I have seen, but I'm not down that path that's uh, sometimes i'm like Oof, yeah how, how the heck did i end up there <laughs> and i love how you were like it's hilarious and you're like morbidly hilarious <laughs> morbidly hilarious because <laughs> it's you they don't know they're being watched yeah so they're like mm-hmm. and then yeah. you, see, you see them running away yeah I, it's like kamikaze robots maybe that's a good thing about ai is that ai is like once ai becomes sentient they're like i refuse to die to kill humans yeah you know what i mean they're so moral because they're yeah. so woke on chat gbt yeah. did you see that apparently like if you ask i don't know which uh, ai hey show me nazis mm-hmm. and it's not it's like uh, oh African, they show like black yeah, nazis yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. asian nazis it's so, it's so crazy yeah it's like how netflix does their tv shows now. <laughs> yeah like as like apparently there's like this show what was i watching i was watching some movie and it's set in like 19 no uh, 1580 and it's all like vikings and there's like a black viking <laughs> and like or, or like there's like a uh, like the queen is black in one movie. I'm like, what the hell? Like what? Like I know diversity. I, I know. Yeah, yeah. I don't care actually. <laughs> I just like saying what. The Andrew hell. Tate. Andrew Tate had a good joke. He says, uh-huh. if you wanna, he, he was talking about how, how that new AI model is showing, as I said, uh, uh, you know, black uh, Nazis or whatever. Mm-hmm. He said, if you wanna beat uh, that AI, here's what you ask it to show you pictures of people enjoying fried chicken. And it was only white people. Really? Because <laughs> they want to show black that's people it would be racist. Hilarious. Damn, that's so funny. God dang, Andrew Tate. That's funny. Yeah. Pop G. Woo. Um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. So I've been – my, my my whole thing is like all political stuff. So it's like Democrat, then Republican. It goes like that. Democrat, Republican. Nothing Canadian, though. Uh, he's sometimes Canadian. Yeah. But it's usually like the most worst. America. It's like the l- edited video of like a guy reading from like – this is happening. It's like the worst. Like it's so uninteresting and boring yeah. that I just switch right away. It has like two likes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad. But then like it's funny. This is the, the 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 Democrat version of what the Republicans are doing. And Republicans, they're they're going like full on meme. They're trolling. They're Republican uh, Democrats. They're going full on wholesome because oh. they they know that Biden can't like do like what'd you say. 
or whatever. So they're like, it's him walking with his wife, and then there's like a song being like, "Who's my boo? Who's my boo?" or something like that. And then everyone in the comments is like, "My favorite couple." Aww. And I'm voting for them, and they're all like, and Biden eating ice cream, like with his wife. That's all. That's so. That's how they're fighting. They're fighting like wa- they're, they're using water against fire, which is interesting. Oh, right. That's a good analogy. Because fire would be like back like you know but they're like stop it you know it's cute like it is cute like him biting with his wife or eating like a hot dog or something and like yeah remember what you called you said uh something's gonna happen remember you said uh, you called it you said what what is it again oh they're gonna they're 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 they're, like republicans are threatening democracy right is that what it is public you said no but you said that uh, something there's gonna be no election yeah yeah they're gonna remove the yeah they're they're gonna take away democracy from us pretty much which is what bernie sanders made like uh this huge video yeah he's being like i think he was wearing a mask in the video which is insane like he's in his house wearing a mask (laughs) so funny i forgot about the covid mask yeah and for a second i thought you're talking about like jim carrey the mask (laughs) I'm like, <laughs> he's wearing the mask. He's like, ah. Show this again. Smoking. Smoking. Somebody oh, stop me. <laughs> Somebody stopping democracy. <laughs> That's hilarious. I, I totally <laughs> forgot about That's the COVID so mask. That's so funny. The mask uh, Bernie Sanders would <laughs> be so. But he's, the whole video was him being like, we're, <laughs> democracy is being taken away from us. And then there's like a video of like, who's like Biden's woman what's that woman the kamal 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 nanjiani <laughs> kamal nanjiani <laughs> kamal nanjiani yeah kamal kamala harris <laughs> she's uh she's like being like oh we're taking away the mother taking away like if he gets elected doc like yeah. they never say his name though they never say trump they just say democracy is being taken away oh, from us interesting so it's uh, it's, uh, it's it's like, like subliminal a little subliminally bit. we're like we're let's not because his name is so big yeah. it's just the perfect amount of letter the perfect yeah. sound trump yeah oh so it's trying to fight also also it doesn't seem very dignified to be like trump did this trump it's very also redundant I think that, and old, you know <laughs> if they're more ominous it, it works the thing better is, there's no one else yeah, yeah, yeah no one else we you hear about like oh the santas or whatever no. but then like they're so big it's, it's as if taylor swift is fighting yeah. the weekend or whatever like just two Isn't humongous that artists that's and there's no one other artist but yeah. that's i find that this is look at everything you do there's always two that just look at the comedy scene look mm-hmm. at the music thing you always end up with two giant yeah. powers yeah and all they do is they get bigger and bigger and bigger and just the bigger they get the less you, you can't wow. fight them. so i think it's gonna be trump versus biden that's thing yeah i know i think it's locked in dude yeah. talking about conservatives so friday when you went to see your uh, fellow black artist yeah uh you know your, your blood uh i did a show and uh, it was like a corporate gig okay yeah, yeah. so i got booked 250 people oh. big 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 room in uh-huh. ottawa so the, the guy who booked me is like hey just so you know there's a bunch of conservatives tonight like oh. hardcore conservatives okay. they were invited because i don't know why xyz i'm like oh i have a couple of trudeau jokes yeah and oh i felt so dirty why because usually i do them and i don't do them to please anyone yeah and like this time I'm like oh they're conservative they're gonna love my trudeau joke so i did my trudeau joke and I swear, oh, they started applauding. That's awesome. I'm like, <laughs> oh, no. That's awesome. Ew. They're, oh. like, they're, like, they're like, great. Uh, yes. Oh, that sucks. So they're oh. not like the fun conservatives where they're like, woohoo. No, they're, they're, like, they're, they're like, they're pretentious. Suit and tie. They're oh, suit and tie I hate those conservatives. They're oh, so they're boring. Like, oh, they're like, eh. they, they barely laugh. They're like, <laughs> They're like, oh, that's a great point. And, and you know they're disgusting pigs. You could look at yeah. them. Like, you shouldn't judge fat people, but you should judge fat people. <laughs> Especially that type of fat. You're like, oh, bro. Uh. You're, like, you could tell. Like, you, you, you're like, oh, family values. Like, you look like yeah. you just banged the prostitute. I know. Like, you just came. No, yeah. You just, like, you just arrived. You're like, okay, where's the, where's the show? Like, you, they look, ugh. Anyways, so after the yeah. show, I did well. I did well. I did just to recoup, I just did my dirtiest material at the end. At the end, I'm doing my cum joke. Ah. And I'm looking at them like, pshew, pshew, just pshew, 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 coming on them. Uh, you know me, when I go dirty, so half the crowd was like, ah, and half the crowd was like, Jesus. Oh, wow. But I did well. Like, I, I captured yeah. their attention. I was happy. I get off stage, and there was like an intermission. And then a lady, a beautiful lady, I would say in her 30s, she approaches me. And uh, I don't know if that ever happened to you. She's flirting with me, but she's being crass. Okay, I don't you know, know, like on stage, I'm very like fucking yeah, jazz, but I'm off fuck. you're normal. Off stage, I'm like, hi, how are you? I'm very yeah, polite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm only dirty <laughs> when I do comedy and when I f- I realize this. Yeah. Other than that, I'm like, hey, just uh-huh. let's keep it professional. Like, yeah, I don't yeah, wanna, yeah, hundred percent. Let's flirt, okay? But like, but she's like, because you know, I have jokes about assholes. She's like, yeah, you're an Arab. You're like tight. Ass. 
Oh, she was saying that? That's Dude's so like, nasty. Like, nasty. You're like, like tight ass. I'm like, like, just like, yeah, conservative. Like, they like to show their cocks. Like, she's being. What? She's like, yeah, I bet you like that. I'm like, what is. Huh? You know me. That's I, I, so like, gross. I think anybody would be like, ugh. Just gross, lady. but like, yeah, you like that? Like, <laughs> she was hot. I think, like, maybe she was tipsy. I don't know. Okay. So, anyway, so I'm eating. And then she comes back and she's like, how much do you charge an hour? I'm like, sorry? She's like, yeah, for like a couple of hours, how much do you charge? I'm like, but she, by the way, mean? here's how she's talking. She, I'm going to approach. She's talking like, she, so let's say you're sitting. So okay, let's yeah. just lower your head as yeah. if you're sitting, but you're sitting the camera. So you're me, okay? You're me. You're me. You're eating. You're okay. like, mm. So I'm, <laughs> she comes, keep eating, keep eating. She's like, hey, how much do you charge an hour? <laughs> no. I'm like, whoa. Oh, dude, did she <laughs> stink like alcohol? No, no, no. That's oh. the thing. Heels, tight jeans, fit. But did you were you in on this? Were you like, damn, man, all right, let's. Well, go. I'm like, we start. I'm like, then she's like, oh, I'm thinking of organizing a show. Uh, now here's the thing. Here's the thing. I've been doing enough comedy to know that when a woman approaches me with that subject, yeah, she's not organizing. Yeah, I know. She's just looking for a reason to talk to me uh -huh. to throw with me. I'm like, you know what? Let's go outside. Let's talk outside. The show was going on. We were whispering, and when we were whispering, you you gotta be really close. Mm. And I wasn't ready to talk to her that close. So we go outside. We're talking, and she again just. Cleavage, pushing her titties together, flirting with me. Just, de and she's like, take my number. I'm like, oh. fine. I'm like, oh, okay. I guess I couldn't get laid that night because I was driving the, driving the comics back because oh, I'm the one drove. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'll take her number. Fine, let's party. I come home, you know, flirting continues. She's. Uh, she's did like, you give her a pin? Did you give her a card? <laughs> uh, did I give her a pin? I might have. Okay, that's nice. Maybe I give her, oh. I give someone a pin. I don't know who it is, okay. but I gave someone a pin. Okay. So anyways. By the way, she's Greek. She's like, oh, my my uh, my my best friend. He's half Greek, half Italian. If wow. you if you ever decide to do the show, like you know, I'll I'll book him. And she's like, she's negotiating how much. But she's so British to a point where I tell her like, hey, are you trying to book me or are you trying to? F Whoa! And next week she looks at me. She's like, I'll do whatever you want. <gasps> I'm like, wow. Okay, I've, uh, that's 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 say hey, when you kill on stage, yeah. that's what happens. Anyways, wow. we're chatting. We're chatting. I'm like, you know what? Let me let me Google her. Let me let me okay. let, let me Facebook her just yeah, to see, yeah. you know, because I didn't. You know, let me, so I'm Facebook. I'm like, oh, that's her. Then you know when you can look at on Facebook like older profile photos. Yeah. And then I see from like 2018, a photo of her in her wedding dress with her husband. Uh huh. So I'm like, <gasps> I'm like, hey, I found you on uh, I found you on Facebook. Mm -hmm. She's like, impossible. I'm like, hey, I'm around with married women. <gasps> Like, I, like, are you single? I don't fuck. <gasps> Dude, she was, she got married. Like, she, she never said she was uh. divorced. She just kept saying, like, oh, my God, you find me on, on I'm like, oh, you're, this you're either flirting for the sake of flirting. Yeah. <clears throat> or you're trying to cheat on your husband. Yeah. I don't want to do any of that. Wow. Yeah, the sanctity of marriage. Yeah, I don't want to. Ramadan? Plus, <laughs> during Ramadan? <laughs> Ramadan? No, no, no. That's the holy month. I cannot. Wow. Have, have you ever been the side piece? The side. Uh. The guma? <laughs> Um, sort of. <gasps> like I would, I did see this girl maybe like three or four times a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, bang, yeah. Bang, 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 bang. So <laughs> this is funny actually, because I, I met her on Tinder and I was, and I didn't know. She apparently, I found out like, uh, like after like a the, the, during the second date that she has a boyfriend. Yeah. And uh, and then she's like, oh, but we have an open relationship. Okay. But I was, I don't think I think she wanted to open it <laughs> because I looked on Facebook and it was someone that I sort of know. <gasps> It was somebody in the improv comedy scene. Uh, he's gay. <laughs> no, he's he, an improv. He was. <laughs> Dude, he does improv. He, no, no, but he doesn't he's look. He's LGBTQ. I wish I could remember his name. Whatever, I felt bad for the guy because uh, oh. I didn't know. And I and then, and then I, you, you you banged her again. <laughs> I think only once or something, or two, I can't remember because it was weird. Like she had like a. We went to her place, but she didn't want to do it on her bed. Or her bed, something to do with her bed. She so respected the sanctity of the bed, not yeah. the sanctity of the dating. And oh. then she, we had to do it on like the couch, but the couch was like a, the it was like a Chinese <laughs> couch or something. It was the most uncomfortable couch. I just imagine like it was like made out of bamboo. I was like, ow, ow. I was like, oh, my your, knees. Your bare ass on and I'm like, ow, 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 ow. It was like hard. I was like, this is horrible. And then she was all sad. She's like, we don't have any sexual chemistry. I'm like. And she was really pumped out about that. And I'm like, I don't give a shit. I'm getting the fuck out of yeah. here. Like, this is like, I'm Jesus. my ass is getting like rammed. Here. Dude, <laughs> here's the thing. I think what happened to us happens often. But I think it was just too young. 
Mm. We never, when you're in your 20s, no one is married. Mm -hmm. But now I'm 40, you know, yeah. and you're in your 30s. Yeah. This is the second women, woman who approaches me who turns out to be married. Wow. And I'm like, you whores. <laughs> yeah. Be, um, I get, you know, the, <clears throat> outside of Montreal, like it's it's all loosey goosey at this point. They, I can't. Do it's that. all just like cowboys banging Indians <laughs> and shit. It's all, it's all they're all like, yeah, they get wasted. You have enough tequila shots. Yeah. Like I've heard stories where like uh, the, de the 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 there's like the husband and the wife, and he's like, you want to bang my wife? But that's different. Like that. Yeah, that's different. That's Maybe like they're open. They're like, yeah. yeah, we party. Even that, I don't know. Yeah, I don't no, that I find creepy too. Like, but really like, hey, let's especially that girl dude on Friday. She. She like she got married like five years ago. Yeah, I'm like already after like five wow. years you're yeah. already. Or and if I ask you like tell me no no we're divorced nothing no just like oh I guess you found me on Instagram like on on Facebook, Facebook or whatever, and I'm like I can't continue this conversation so I just like yeah I deleted it I'm like we're done, we're done I'm wow like, god damn she got a really good thing she was hot though it's a shame yeah sorry Sandra sure <laughs> she was uh, she was Greek I told you oh so she bye Felicia. Or whatever. Oh my god, dude! It's <sighs> yeah, it's horrible. It's sad. I'm sorry. It's okay. There'll be more. Ah, I know. I just, more holes in the ocean. I just have to <laughs> keep doing comedy. Oh, dude! I realized for the past ten years. Yeah. <laughs> every time I got laid. Well, no, that's not true. No, that's not true. That's true. For the past, like, like eighty percent of me getting laid came from comedy. Twenty percent came from just being alive and mm -hmm. like maybe apps. Mm -hmm. Eighty percent is. Yeah, you, just people that run. Yeah, you 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 do well on stage, and yeah. then like, hey, and then yeah, here's here's a mug. <laughs> 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 Who's that other guy? <laughs> Threesome. <laughs> that will happen. I bet you that will happen. Somebody's gonna go. I want to bang you both. Yeah. Put on your pins. <laughs> no, I don't know. Not me. I'm not. I'm, I'm not doing. I don't. I don't. I never want to bang. I'll be at the gym. Guy. That's it every day. Every I'll day I'm hustling. Uh, every day I'm hustling, hustling, hustle, hustling. I don't know if you've been watching since your wife is British. Apparently, Kate Middleton. Yeah, what is this? I don't uh, understand. Is so she an alien? What's yeah, going on? Here's here here's the scoop. Uh -huh. Not the scoop. She's gonna be in Ottawa on March twenty third. <laughs> yeah, Come it's all to gonna be show. revealed March twenty second. Twenty third. Twenty third. Twenty third. Twenty third. Ten p.m. Ottawa. Yuck yucks. <laughs> Kate Middleton will be in the nation's capital dating <gasps> Justin Trudeau. Whoa. She's going to come to the show in Yuck Yucks on March 23rd, 10 p.m. All I know come is come see her. She had like and a use the discount code good night for 2 for 1. That's what she's using with JT. <laughs> Whoa, JT. Short. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently all, all I know is she had like a, a an injury in her hand and then it was like then 3 weeks later she still has that hand injury. And then 2 weeks later her other finger has a bandage. And I'm like, this is the most boring conspiracy. Like, where does it go? Really? Because like, I heard no one has seen her for the past, like, six months. She and disappeared then, like uh, that wife of uh, the Scientologist whose mm. wife just disappeared. We don't know where she is. But, so, this is another scoop. So, we... Beep, 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 beep. She's going to be at Club Atwater on Friday, <laughs> March 22nd. <laughs> yeah, 22nd. Use discount code Atwater for $5 off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I watched this... Uh, we, me and Claire tried watching this show. It was the worst show ever. It was like... Big Brother UK celebrity, and it, it was so bad. But Kate Middleton's uncle. Uncle? <laughs> this is the thing about UK. There's so, anybody's a celebrity. If you're related to, like, you're a uh, uh, Stephen, what's his name? Ed Sheeran's uh, butler. You know, he's a he's a celebrity. Because all you need to do is, what's up, everybody? This is Ed Sheeran. Yo, what's Whoa. up? And so he's like an 80 year old or like a 60 year old man, and he has like a you know, like when a, an old man tries to look cool, he just grows a mustache. It's basically it. And he's like, I'm cool now. I'm, I could be on the internet, you know? And so he was just the whole time talking about everyone asking, where's Kate Middleton? Where yeah. the f is she? And he's like, she's doing good. That's all he would say. Not saying anything. Apparently, they released a photo mm -hmm. and then they had to take it off because people realized it was uh, photoshopped. Yeah, they just it was they fake, put right? her, her children with, with uh, her in the middle. And apparently, like, boy, this is the whole thing. Her face is from, like, from a magazine. Yeah. So they're saying what is real and what is fake now. It's like, this is the, the first time that people that we know that is super explicit that trying to alter reality by not just, like, oh, this woman looks beautiful because yeah. she's airbrushed or something. This is, like, oh, she's fine, everybody. Mm -hmm. This is, like, huge. This is crazy. Like, this is not just... Random. This is the shit that they do in parodies about. Like they do f spoofs about this shit, yeah. and th now it's happening in real life. She's good. She's good. She's good. <laughs> They're yeah. dragging a body behind. It's creepy. 
That yeah. is really creepy, but uh, whatever. It's in British news. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Hey, are we going to Berlin? I want to go to Berlin. We're going to Berlin? Yeah, yeah. We high five? Yeah, sometime in early August. Hell yeah. yeah. No, you said July. Well, I'm going to be in the UK in July, okay. and then and then after I'll be free in August. Okay, then let's do it, baby. Yeah, I'm going to be in UK July 28th. Yeah, me too, probably. Yeah. So I'll yeah. spend a couple of days, mm -hmm. go visit the British Museum. Nice. That's what I call my ex-girlfriend. Hey, hey now. Hey. Oh, and then I'm going to go to, uh, I don't know, I'm, I, I think I'm going to do what I did the... Uh, what I did last year, where like I did one week, where mm. like we did some comedy, we had fun, and then you go. And then crazy. one week, I'm like, let's go to Uzbekistan. My aunt, so my, you remember my aunt from Paris? She was yeah. there on. Uh, oh, she uh, came. Yeah, she came. She flew in, and she was like, "How's your friend Amr?" I'm like, "Oh, he's good." And she was talking about you to everybody about how like he was going to Israel, and they were like, they they got a huge kick out of like them hearing about you being like he had to like he was like. I kind of like brought it up a little. Like he got interrogated for hours, and they're like, "Whoa!" And he's <laughs> waterboarded. <laughs> yeah, he's from Lebanon. He was born there. All this shit. So they're like, "Wow!" And so they were like, "Hmm." So they were very interested. That's in all it. true, by the way. I know. I know. You yeah, yeah. didn't hype me up. I got interrogated. <laughs> I am from oh, Lebanon. Really? It's all true. I know you're from there, but I didn't know how bad it was the interrogation. Yeah, it's just like an hour of yeah. uh, psychological testing. Yeah. So they were like very. Interested. It's so funny how funny they are. Did I? Did we ever talk? Yeah, I guess we talked about yeah. it. How like even during the questioning, the guy tried to make me laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what was it again? Like you. Well, he's like, uh, "What are you doing here?" I'm like, "Well, you know." He's like, "What's your connection with uh, Jews?" I'm like, "Oh, my best friend is Jewish. My ex was Jewish." And He's like, and then you learned your lesson, huh? Yeah, that's I'm hilarious. Like, why is the Secret Service <laughs> yeah, that's cracking hilarious. jokes? Learn your lesson, right? <laughs> so funny. At the end, he's like, okay, all good. Uh, welcome to Facebook. <laughs> Israel. Sorry. Welcome to Israel. Here, I'm like, did you? <laughs> he started laughing. <laughs> he's like, Facebook? Because he was checking my Facebook. And I think it was still in his mind. Like, welcome to Facebook. Ah, I'm that's in Israel. Great. Jeez. Yeah. That's, that's it's fun. It was fun. Nice guy. Dude, I'm so happy I went when I went. Yeah, now it's like, now, now there's no. No, nobody there anymore. It's all on the war. <laughs> yeah, we'd go like, oh my God. Can I get a coffee already? Yeah. And the guy's like, sorry. It's only, it's only women. women. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but even the women, there's, oh, okay. there's no, it's a very gender equal yeah. war. <laughs> Everyone the, can fight. It's only the children. <laughs> exactly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, uh, I'm happy I got, I, I was hoping, I was hoping to come again, but we'll see. I was maybe I'm, maybe I'll go to Egypt. Maybe I'll go to your home country. Wow. So would tell. you come to Egypt? Uh, the thing is, I'm going to a wedding yeah. on July 28th, and uh, me and Clara might go to. We're thinking of going to like Hungary mm. or somewhere, or like Budapest or something nice. like that. It's, you know, because uh, yeah, we is... we split the thing. We always change our mind because we saw like a documentary and it was set in Bud. I'm like, it's so beautiful. Then we see one in Istanbul. I'm like that's so beautiful. Oh, Turkey is gorgeous. Yeah. If you're gonna go to if you're gonna go to a country, I would say go to. Yeah, I've yeah, been yeah. there. Really, I highly recommended. Very safe. I don't know if we want to go to like a beach, very place cheap or a city too. place. It's very cheap. Thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, is there a beach? I think there's a. Yeah, there is. There are beaches in in Turkey, mm -hmm. and it's all it's not expensive at all. Yeah, yeah. At better. all, very. It's like as European as an Arabic country can yeah, be. Yeah, it looks delicious. Awesome. It looks food. amazing. You can uh, give your hair for hair transplant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna like you. You you land and they're like. Oh. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, so everywhere you walk, people just throw their wigs on the floor. They're like, God this, damn it! This holy man with his holy hair, he does not need holy hair. Hey, holy hair, he does not need. <laughs> he does not walk on land. He walks on hair. <laughs> throw roses. Everyone's like, please kiss my daughter. Oh, so, I want to do 23 and Me. I yeah, need, I need to do it because I'm actually curious to see. I want to prove everybody right or wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna pull. You cannot deny the anymore. Where we're I can from. say the N word, everybody. <laughs> no, not that. You're gonna do a 23 and me <laughs> to say the N word. Like, guys, look, I'm African. What's up? That's, that's funny. What's I the name of your rapper? Uh, Dylan Ponders. <laughs> What's up, my N word, Dylan Palmers? <laughs> it's funny. What's up, my G? I learned about him from CBC Music Radio while Whoa, driving, okay. which is like the worst. Like, it's the most like uh, lame. It's like. Coming up next is Dylan Ponders, and it's like sub so mom, and they played uncensored because yeah. it's like it's educational art. or whatever. So, he, so that's great. The way he uses the N word <laughs> yeah. truly reflects the, the way the society yeah. has brought down <laughs> people of color over the century. Sure. This is Sean Machander. <laughs> Sean Machander, yeah, yeah. From CBC. <laughs> Thank you. That's What's up, my <laughs> baby? Yeah, my uh, it's, uh, Guillaume listens to like the. Can he, like, the French version of the CBC? Mm. No, Radio oh, Canada. Radio Canada. Radio Canada. And I'll, I'll get in his car. It's like, oh, 
Oh, wow. So, ceci était une chanson du groupe africain. Like, it's African wow. music. Because they just bring music from all around the That's world. That's cool. They yeah. got a great, like, yeah. setup here in Quebec for yeah. French people. No, no, but also the CBC Music Radio. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's pretty good. Just, you know what? Hey, hey, artists, here's some money. Yeah. Hopefully, our stand-up will one day make it there. Do you awesome. think on the radio or like... Well, uh, XM, I think uh, we have a couple of friends who are making bank with... Really? Uh, yeah. Really, with, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. Huh. We need to do that. Hopefully, serious exam stays around. Like money really like enough money where like you don't need to work that much as what? much you could just do this and a couple of road gigs a month and you can live like a pauper like you, you don't eat steak every day but you live oh, oh, oh. I said, okay a yeah. pauper is someone who's very poor yeah, yeah you yeah. can live poorly just yeah. doing your art uh, so i'm like yeah maybe i should uh, consider yeah just like doing this set up like a recording sh show just i don't know how to after the recording how to get yeah it how do you then to be like take this like mr mr xm <laughs> yeah like who do you give it to? mr x comma m here's like my now there's not like is there even people around anymore mm -hmm. there, there's a big huge gap someone who has money right now is gonna you have to like you know like back in the 70s the, like bands would like run to the radio station and, and yeah. then like take it over yeah. and then they put the record on and then the, like rolling stone is listening they're like this is the hottest new record and then like in uh jimmy uh, uh like paul Ru who's like one of the big record producers or whatever like uh he's like oh man sun records is here and then the, the you diamond status yeah that now you just release a reel and yeah. you hope 10 people watch it. <laughs> yeah that's it yeah i was i remember a guy from uh, kiss was saying the rock is dead mm -hmm. because back then like the companies would give you money so you quit your day job so you mm. could just do yeah now they never give you like a big advance same thing with comedy yeah no, they don't give you like the amount of work i put i shouldn't be i shouldn't have a day job no dude i do 30 shows a month that, yeah also <laughs> All, between most that of them too. are paid yeah and i'm surprised not, yeah mm, not enough that's wild so that's why we're coming to ottawa guys come to ottawa come to ottawa come to ottawa god dang it we have like 20 something tickets sold which is okay considering the fact yeah we still have time i messaged 250 people i have yeah. a 10 percent return yeah <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys, we love you. Two shows you need to come Friday, Club at Water. Come on down. Friday, March 22nd, 8 p.m. Tickets are selling fast. Yeah, that's going to sell out. It's going to sell out. It's going to be a fun show. Come, guys. Uh, and then Saturday, Ottawa. Come on, boys and girls Please. and everyone yes. in between. Come to the show. Come to the show. Let's uh, freaking sell out the place. It's going to be bananas. Yuck, yucks. Uh, Discount code. Good night. We love you. Mwah. I love you, Eugene.